we've taken care of uh, that enemy we fought there, the freaky dude with the eye in his arm. And now we're going to head up the ladder here. I guess we're not exploring the sewers. Uh, we are in the police station basement. Super eerie. Probably a locked door. to open this maybe looks like we will have to at some point damn need a key card oh no you gotta be kidding me Oh, that's creepy. Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry. That information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Sounds like a good idea to me. Hey! I'm not done talking to you! At least the door looks like it's unlocked now. She clearly has access. I'm curious if there's anything else in here worth investigating. Did she turn the lights on? I guess she must have. Probably nothing, but I just want to check in case there's like a plant or herb or whatever we can pick up. So this door is open as well. A map yet, but might be worth investigating here. See so locked doors, they've got some sort of barricade up here. Expecting something about it. <laughs> Message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, and that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. 
Oh yeah, <clears throat> those are the raccoons we've seen. I think we shot one already. It's super, super dangerous. This. The raccoon den. Your South and US slash Canadian accent, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details bent key. No longer usable, but could still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry button. Keyless entry buttons. Hmm. Let me check here. Was that? Oh, there's one of the raccoons, I think. This is a diamond key door. Oh, this actually takes us in here. Got a couple dead dudes. Probably not actually dead. Ammo over there. Is probably gonna come crawling out of that vent at some point. Dogs. A purple herb? Blue herb. A blue herb dated with Arclay Mountains can be used to remove toxins from your body. I think it has to be, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it has to be combined with another herb. Let's combine it then with the green one here. Restore uh, toxin, remove toxins and restore slight amount of health. I don't know what we've run into that sucks. It can be the bite of those dogs. Yeah, this is the dog kennel. Animal feed. Looks like one of them, well, a bunch of them got loose. Oh. A little worried it's going to break out of there. I don't want to waste ammo on them. This area actually reminds me of a um, of the basement in the mansion or of the lab, the lab basement in Resident Evil One. Very similar layout. The room we just came out of would have been where the like bug things would be. There's a crank, which we would need to open the door here. Okay, here we go. It's just go leads back through that way. Say something? Can't really read it. 
Electric lock will not open unless powered. Assuming we don't have power? Oh. No, we do. Okay. Wait, it didn't lock just behind us. No, okay, good. Wanted to make sure we're not getting locked in here. Crematorium. Can't really read the names on the layout on here. That's one thing I always appreciate about games is when they do have high enough texture you can actually read stuff. Even if it's just, you know, totally useless like this stuff. Whoa. I don't think that guy was there before. Right? Where did he come from? That's freaky. Is there anything in here besides that dude? Oh, we can open this. Okay. Okay, has something on him, or? I don't know if you really want to be doing this, though. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, diamond key. Both up and alive here. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's probably. There might be other items here, though. I'm just gonna leave them here though. Let me check. Map. Morgue is still red, so yeah, there's still. Oh wait, what's this? Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations. Found dead in jail cell, bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. So he must have stolen the key. I'm just going to leave him to there. The map. We still haven't completed this area. Can I, like, hop over this? It would be super helpful. Let's just come back there later, maybe. Uh oh. Those dogs are loose. I think, right? What's this? High grade gunpowder, yellow. Combine with gunpowder to make shotgun shells or combine two of these to make mag ammo. Okay. Guess that means we'll be getting a mag at some point. Okay, the diamond door was back this way, right? Not in the firing range, though. Right? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it sounds like those guys are up and running around. Aren't you pretty? Alright.
red herb. Okay. Film labeled BF or 3F locker. Anything else in here missing? No. Let's check out that film. Three F locker. So we can't do anything with that yet. So we'll head back the way she went. Um, there was a storage thing in the room just back here, though, right? Where did we actually come in from? Oh, down the hatch, which we probably... Can we go back down here? Yes, we can. Cool. So I'm going to go in here and just drop some of this stuff we picked up for now. So, I'll store the gunpowder. Well, actually, hang on. Combine to make shotgun shells. Yeah, okay, that's definitely what I'm going to do. actually going to take that out. Combine that with that. Now we've got some more shotgun shells. Um, I actually should open that storage box if we can. Oops. Keep right clicking on it. Uh, damn it. Something inside. The raccoon den hiking and fishing supplies. Ooh, we got a key. Car number 7439. That's the one they were talking about in the note. Alright, so let's uh Can we load the shotgun right now? No. It's totally. So I want to hang on to that ammo. Um, maybe store the roll of film and the red herb. Maybe we're fine to keep the, keep that for now. Read that. Uh, no, it'll be found. Bent key. Key to car 7439. No longer usable, but can still open the doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Control cars. So that could be this car here. But we can't get to it yet. Or alternatively aren't labeled at all, eh? Wondering if it's any of these vehicles parked in the garage here. It's probably the uh, the one that's tied there, though. These are all smashed in. E36. We can't get to. Smashed in. Yeah, so it's probably more than likely the one inside there. Maybe that'll be our escape vehicle.
Plus the generator room there, morgue. Firing range. We couldn't get into the generator room, I don't think. It's police station map. Awesome. Oh. And more ammo. else in here to pick up. Sounds lovely. See, so we've got the jail cell here. That doesn't lead anywhere. We are then that way. Well, it looks like we will need to go through the jail. She clearly came through here. I don't know where she went though. Looks like her way out is up this way. Okay, so I guess we just don't have these on our map right now. You guys can stay. Ooh, that guy's all bent. Okay. You guys can stay in there. I wonder what these guys are all locked in for. Drugs, maybe? Let me guess, this is the switch is probably going to open shutter. Shutter. I just feel like it's going to release the jail cells. Probably. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Uh oh. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. <laughs> Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here! Oh, shoot. Ew. Who is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. It was gross. I don't even know what happened. It just... Happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? Why is she wearing sunglasses in the dark? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. 
Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Oh, I thought so. Well, I guess the deal's on. <laughs>